our unprecedented meeting, the first between an American president and a leader of North Korea, proves that real change is indeed possible. Bold words from the U.S. president as he celebrated the historic meeting. But back in Washington, D.C., not everyone is as jubilant. There were stern words from top Democrats. It is worrisome, very worrisome, that this joint statement is so imprecise. What the United States has gained is vague and unverifiable at best. What North Korea has gained, however, is tangible and lasting. The House Democratic leader, Nancy Pelosi, called the agreement hasty, saying Trump handed Kim concessions in return for vague promises. Across the aisle, there was cautious optimism towards the president from Republican lawmakers, but also some skepticism. The House Speaker Paul Ryan commended the president, but warned that the only acceptable endpoint for North Korea was verifiable denuclearization. Top Republican Senator Mitch McConnell agreed, adding that maximum pressure of sanctions must be maintained to make sure Pyongyang follows through. And there is still the matter of human rights in North Korea. The people of North Korea are isolated, oppressed and desperate. The true and final measure of peace, reconciliation, perhaps unification of the Korean Peninsula is the impact it will have on the people of South and North Korea. When pressed, Trump said human rights were discussed at the meeting just briefly. But given North Korea's brutal human rights record, for critics of the summit, this was one more instance that Trump let Kim off lightly. Still, the Singapore summit will certainly be seen as a victory by Trump supporters. Well, hopefully it's a good start. We'll see where it goes. Uh, a, a, a bad peace is better than a, a bad war. With this development, I think it'll be, um, it'll lessen the tension in that area. With midterm elections just around the corner, the president aims to sell this summit as a historic breakthrough. But for many, it falls short of real victory. Leonie Lacani, TRT World, Washington.